All right, so far you've tried space trucking, PvP, underground bunkers, hand mining, rock mining, planet mining, halo mining, bounty hunting, and every other possible game loop you can think of, and you want new stuff to do. Well, the good news is 318 just hit wave one. We can finally talk about salvaging, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. Stay tuned. The first thing you need to know is that you're gonna to need to have a tractor beam attachment in order to be functional with the vulture. So we're gonna go ahead and buy one here. Once you get that thing purchased, it'll show up in your inventory as per normal. And you're just gonna to wanna to drag that bad boy onto your multi-tool. Don't forget this, this is very important. Make sure you have your tractor beam. I've gone ahead and spawned my vulture. Here it is in my hangar. And the first thing you need to know about the vulture is that to get in from the ladder, you need to use your personal inner thought. Don't just run up and try to climb up the ladder because it's not going to work. So use a personal inner thought. Climb up that bad boy. We'll go ahead and jump into the cockpit. You see, it is still a little bit jank. You got to get pretty close to get that cockpit door open. From there, the process is the same with, as with any other ship, right? Request clearance, set a destination, get her powered up, get her airborne, get to where you're going. It's really, really dead simple. So I'm gonna get this thing going and we'll be right back. Now here we are flying through the air with the greatest of ease, except it's not really with the greatest of ease with the vulture because the thing's kind of a pig, all right? It flies like a brick. It's very slow in Atmo. And when you try to take off, the the ascent's gonna sag, right? It, it just kind of dips. The thing doesn't like to really take off. So you gotta finesse it a little bit as you're getting airborne. And then once you get underway, you will notice that it is slow as hell in Atmo. Now, in space, does pretty well it's fairly nimble but when you're in atmo whoo let me tell you you're not the thunderbirds so don't be trying to do anything fancy it's basically a flying diaper all right now that we're out in space in an undisclosed area of the halo we're gonna talk about scanning scanning is a little bit a little different in the in the vulture when you scan things you're going to see a signature value, right? It's going to appear right up here in this little area. And those signatures are going to come back in either multiples of 1700 or 2000, right? So if it's multiple of 1700, that's 1700, 3400, 5100, 6800, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it's a rock, right? If it comes back in values of 2000, it's salvage it's a wreck or it's floating debris whatever so again that's 2000 4000 6000 8000 if it's in multiples of 2000 it's salvageable all right so again multiples of 1700 it's rock multiples of 2000 it's a wreck keep that in mind this is very important now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of scan around here until I find something that looks like it's useful, right? You'll notice now that the FOV is tied directly to the size of the circle, which we manipulate using the mouse wheel, okay? Scanning is other than that, pretty much the same, you know, we find an object, we zoom in the little circle, get her down to 2%, give it a scan. It's gonna give us the diamond. But then we actually mouse over it and hold down the button and scan it proper like. And in this case, it tells us it's a P-type asteroid, okay? Now, sometimes things still won't scan. It's a lot better than it was. And a lot of times salvage won't scan, but you know it's salvage because of the return signature value. And if it gives you that return signature value in multiples of 2000, it is salvage and it is there, right? So fly up on it and get your salvage on. 
I'm gonna go ahead and keep scanning until I find some salvage and then yeah we'll go get it so you know stay tuned and stuff okay we have found some goodies so see her somewhere I've got a signature value and a multiple of 2,000 right so again remember do your do your mathies 2,000 4,000 6,000 8,000 it's gonna be salvage now I just gotta find where it is so I'm gonna do some do some scanning around that's a rock and one of these is gonna be our salvage. That's not it, that's too far away. I didn't look at that. Remember the, the 12,000 rule, it still kind of applies here. There's something that's about 10,000 out. That's a rock. And that's a rock. And oh, and that's goodies. See that multiples of 2,000? It says 14,000. There's probably seven pieces of debris floating around out there. So we're gonna give them a tighter scan to kind of figure out where they're at. We'll see if any of them will actually like scan scan, which, uh, nope, they're not gonna scan. But I know they're still there. How do I know? Because I know, just trust me. So we're gonna fly up to those bad boys and get to salvaging. What do you reckon? Let's go. All right, we're flying up on the salvage now. Getting close enough that it should be visible here pretty quickly. A couple, couple K out maybe. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, here's what the little icons look like. Uh, for the love of God, please do not call them paws. They look like little salvage bits. Uh, if you think those look like paws, you've been raising some crazy alien pets. So. Yeah, they're not paws. Please don't call them paws. A couple of things to note. First of all, a lot of these pieces of scrap are gonna have a side that looks like lattice work like that. That's not, not salvageable, right? The side that you wanna be messing with is the smooth side like this right here. This is the bit you wanna be messing with, okay? So we'll get up in there going to hit M to activate the mining laser. It's not really a mining laser. It's a scraping salvaging laser thing, but we hit M to activate it anyway. We're going to talk a little bit about convergence. Okay. So down there towards the bottom of the screen, bottom middle, you're going to see a little, you know, doohickey, a little icon. And this tells us where our beams are converging at, right? And you generally, you wanna have them converging at the same spot because that's gonna be the most efficient. You've got both of your lasers hitting the same spot, same time, it works out better. Now, there's a couple of ways to do that. First, you can hit G to unlock your gimbals and it's gonna handle the convergence on its own, right? Your other option is to manually adjust it, right? So if we look down where I was just looking at, I'm using Alt in the mouse wheel to manipulate that. And you can see the little heads moving back and forth, right? As I'm changing the convergence. Now, if we Alt right click, it changes to up and down. And again, you can see the heads kind of moving up and down as I'm Alt scroll wheeling to adjust those. So that's one way to do it. The other way, again, hit G to unlock your gimbals and let the system handle it for you, all right? Now you're gonna notice up towards the top of the screen on each side, you've got two different types of modules you can use, okay? You got the cinch scraper module and you got the abrade scraper module, all right? I'm just gonna really quickly switch back over here. I'm gonna turn uh, my convergence to manual and I'm gonna kind of mess with those and you'll see See how the little circles move off of each other? So I'm using the cinch scraper module right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put those, went ahead and put those back. And uh, we'll switch back over to unlocked gimbals. Using the cinch scraper module right now, the difference between the two, cinch and, and a braid. The cinch is a smaller surface area, okay? 
you can see I'm pulling pulling scrap off of this right so the cinch is a smaller surface area but it's more efficient right meaning you're gonna get more total scrap but it's slower right okay the other is the abrade it's bigger it's a bigger area it's less efficient which means you'll you're gonna burn up some of the some of the scrap but it goes a lot faster right so you see I'm kind of cruising along switch modules real quick notice the circle is a lot bigger and once we get into the scraping we're actually gonna pull material faster but again it's less efficient so we're burning off some of that material now we need to keep going until that little number up at the top the cargo number hits one and then it's going to pop up a message telling us that it is ejecting the stuff. And then we'll run to the back and we'll handle the cargo situation back there. So we'll just kind of keep moving around the wreck here with the mining laser, or the not mining laser, but stripping laser. Pulling off that material now again here in just a minute we're getting really close we hit one it's telling us that it's going to eject the stuff normally i would wait for it to finish ejecting and i would get right back to scraping and let it get one backed up in the system and it'll tell me hey your ejection area is blocked and at that point i would go down and deal with my cargo movement but i'm just going to go deal with it now for the sake of time and it nothing really changes so we'll go back through the drake vulture here go down the ladder into the cargo area and there's the box of goodies this stuff is by the way it's called rmc recycled material composite and it's good for all kinds of stuff right selling using to repair ships we'll pull out the old tractor beam and we're going to tractor this bad mamma jamma Start moving it towards the back. You see the little purple boxes? Those indicate areas where it will snap into the cargo grid as it just did, okay? So that one's done, right? Now, if there was another box in the little area there, the little hopper, we would cruise up here and I don't know why I just pulled out my med pen, but we would cruise over here and we would mash the eject button, right? And that'll spit the, the next box out, right? Now we also have another little bit up here which is um, as we get stuff in there, we can actually craft uh, a little SRT can for repairs, right? So you just click on the create tab, go over to the SRT can. And if you have material in the hopper, you click create and it'll spit an SRT can out, which you could then attach to your multi-tool to do repairs, right? So yeah, go back to cargo there. And that's pretty much it as far as moving the goodies. Now these boxes of stuff sell for, well, if you got a, a vulture full, which would be 12 boxes, because there's two rows of three for six, and then you can stack them too high, 12 boxes plus one in the little hopper area or in the little ejection area. Um, it's worth about hundred grand. So, you know, not bad. Now that of course is subject to change. It could get more or less valuable as time goes, as CIG does balancing. But yeah, 100 grand for a vulture full of stuff. It's not bad, not bad at all. So we'll just go ahead and finish scraping this bad boy up. You'll notice the little yellow outline around the edge there. So there's been a lot of discussion around this. And look, my opinion is it's quite simple. When the outline turns yellow, it's telling you that there's not a whole lot left to scrape. You know, you're kind of getting down to it. And then it'll eventually turn red, which is basically saying, in my opinion, look, if you've just flown up on this, don't even waste your time, right? There's not enough here, not enough material here to even bother with. And this one's gonna turn red here in just a second. You'll see, again, there's been a lot of debate about this, but in my mind, it's it makes perfect sense. There, it just turned red. It, look, it's saying this thing's pretty much wasted, right? Don't bother. Don't waste your time. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Couple other things to be aware of. One, if you fly up on a ship, 
uh, a wreck, you know, floating around out there, an abandoned hulk. If its shields are up, you can't, you can't scrap it. You can't salvage it. Okay. Uh, two, you cannot salvage through doors and you cannot blast holes through the hull into the ship. All right. So all you piratical pirate types out there, uh, go back to pyro and pill for produce. You are not going to be able to burn holes through ships and gain entry using the vulture. Okay. So that's it. That's salvage in a nutshell. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go make some money. So y'all have some funsies. Toodles. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified every time new content comes out. Also make sure you check out Hindrosa on Twitch TV at twitch.tv slash Hindrosa. And last but not least, we'd like to give a big shout out and warm thank you to all of our patrons over at patreon.com. Your support is absolutely amazing. Thank you all. And since you're here, make sure to check out our other videos in the How to Star Citizen and Collection, as well as our Meta in Minutes series, which takes sort of a fun, interesting look at some builds that you can do that aren't really meta, but we call them meta anyway. Get your learn on. Well, bye.